Hey folks, it's Kevin here from Goblins of Creation. Uh, now, in a previous video I tried to showcase some new paints I found which were incredibly cheap. And I used incredibly cheap materials with them. I used uh, silicon oil from um, basically uh, sort of treadmill oil. And I used um, PVA glue. And the results were less than impressive especially considering the, the brightness of the colours that I bought. So I'm going to have another go today, but this time I'm going to be using Flowcrawl and I'm going to be using Pibayo, uh Silicon Oil to do a swipe. So the paints, so well, let's see, sorry, let's start with the canvas. Uh, this is uh, a canvas from a pack of three, which I've put some purple on, as you can see. Uh, they're five by seven. Uh, three, three pound in uh, the works. I have leveled my uh, canvas, ready to go. The paints that I bought were this rather lovely purple, which is what I've uh, put on the board. A brilliant yellow, and it's quite, quite brilliant. A brilliant red and a cyan. So I figured those are sort of three red, blue, yellow should be able to get sort of rainbow effect uh, primaries. So I have here the purple uh, which I have put in some uh, three, three drops of the silicon oil. Alright I'm just going to give them a last stir. For swipe I'm just going to use a piece of card today. It's very blobby. Uh, I don't know if that's the paint. I guess what I'm going to have to do for a proper comparison is mix up some of the other types of paint I've got. The Dada Rowley one perhaps. be honest, so far these uh, have been a bit of a washout. They are 2 99 plus VAT, so that's £3.59 for half a litre. So they are uh, very cheap, uh, you know, sort of half the price of most of the other brands. Normally I'd probably pay 6 99 for that size from Art Discount. A little bit more perhaps for Dale Rowney. Sorry you can't see, can you? Once again doing it outside of the camera's area. Hopefully now you can see that. Okay. So even that is a little bit down, isn't it? Right, let's move it back up again. Well, the colours are better. So obviously changing the pouring medium did work. However, I'm not happy with that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move that to one side and get another canvas and we'll try something else. All right, apologies, I'm going to stop the camera while I clean up uh, and then I'll be right back to you. Hello again. Right, so 
the pull that I had the most success with, with the PVA was a flip cup, so I'm going to do another flip cup. I have thickened the yellow by adding a bit of extra paint and a little bit of flow troll. I have thickened, uh, sorry, added a bit more to the red just to make it up to the same amount as the yellow and the blue. Okay, so let us, uh, obviously I've leveled my canvas and here's my little cup that I'm gonna do the flipping. Oh, this is very lumpy. is very very lumpy now I thought last time it was the PVA but I'm now slightly suspicious that it is the paint which is unfortunate uh, I will have to put do not use for pouring on the containers I'm gonna go for it but it's gonna be a very lumpy bumpy one especially on a small canvas. Oh, wow, look at those lumps. I just stirred that and there were no lumps in it when I started. These are forming as it sits there. Right, so here we have our nice little cup. Here is a more than enough paint several times for this canvas. But with the lumps and bumps, I don't know how thick it's going to be. It might be very, very, very thick. Oh yeah, it's like pudding. That is not at all good. That is absolutely appalling. Uh, right. Uh, I'd have to say the colours have, uh, have weared slightly better. Right, look, look at this, it's like a cake mix. Is like a cake mix. Sorry, I forget I keep lifting it out of your view. That's the problem with these small canvases. I I want you to see what's on them, so I tend to zoom in, but of course that does tend to mean that if I move even slightly to one side or the other, I'm out of your Field of view. Come on, into the corner. You can do it. The reason I'm so keen to get it into this corner is once this corner's done, I'd really like to see if I can draw it back across. It's so lumpy. I'm looking from the side, and it's like I've mixed porridge oats into the mix just tidying up the sides oh, this is not good I mean, look, look at what's on the board. Uh, this is just... Uh, that guys is it, but I think, I'll be honest, I'm going to scrape that. Okay, so, 
Uh, it turns out that it's the paint. So I won't be using that paint for pouring. I'll find some other use for it. Uh, it was very, very cheap and uh, yeah, now I know why. So to cheer myself up, uh, oh, sorry, I should just add that I did try it with flow, uh, with obviously with the flow control and the PVA, and I also tried it with the Pabeo uh, Studio Acrylics uh, medium. So I've not used it before, funny enough, and uh, this is something that I got yesterday. So I have put it, them into some colours, and I'm going to do a, uh, a swipe because I'm just really bad at swipes, and I need the practice. So, going on the, uh, uh, it's all been going bad, it's got to turn for me at some point, I'm now going to do a swipe. So I'm going to swipe across with gold, across a metallic red, a uh, lovely fluorescent blue, and a copper. Not happy. That is not a good swipe. That is a rubbish swipe. So I'm going to uh, change it into a cat ball. Uh, I'm just going to take some drops of Paveo and I'm just going to add to the red, the blue and the gold. Uh, a drop into each, two drops into each, three drops into each. <laughs> Getting carried away. All right, let's just uh, stir that in. So I'm stirring in the blue, probably out of shot. And yeah. pink. And the gold. And I'm just gonna grab a cup. Go, uh, copper, sorry. And go, gold. Crimson and eventually when it wants to the fluorescent blue finish that again go and one thing I like about these silicon cups is you can actually squeeze them out when you get a bit low. So it makes it very easy to clean, you can just turn them inside out. Right, and there's still quite a bit of paint on the canvas, so I'm not too concerned about how much is in the cup. Maybe a little more of the So what's the gold? Come on. Last of the red. Crimson, sorry. Metallic. And last of the copper. Okay, right. There we go. If that's not a flip cup, I don't know what it is. Right, okay. Like I've got too much copper on the back. <sighs> Don't like to do this. If I keep this, I'll call it a copper monstrosity, I think. Good. 
copper has taken over. Right, let's just quickly wash my hands. I need to give this a little burn. Get rid of some of those bubbles. Oh, now that's quite interesting, isn't it? Done apart from there's a little bubble there. Let's get rid of that. Uh, and let's see, come around your side and have a look. There we go. Right, well, that's interesting. I will see how that dries and take some photos and pop them on the end, but <laughs> yeah. I think it's very clear, even with my rather amateur attempts today, that uh, there is a certain minimum level of materials you need to get a good effect. And I need to learn how to swipe, that's everything, I will have to practice. Thank you very much for watching, please uh, put a like on the video if you enjoyed it, please subscribe if you wish to see more content from myself or the other Goblins of Creation. Thank you.